I'm Richard Southern in the 680 Newsroom. A little bit of weakness for the Toronto stock market this past week amid the uncertainty regarding NAFTA. Also, the price of oil trailing off some on demand concerns. Another factor certainly at play, cannabis stocks. I mean, these are the stocks investors are looking at. They're the most actively traded uh, almost every day. We saw a little bit of a sell-off for some of the big names towards the end of the week. The big question, though, for many investors is how to time the sector. Uh, cannabis stocks have surged ahead of the legalization date next month. Do investors continue to ride them higher or get out now and book the profits? We asked Mike Curie from TD Bank. I hear people every day saying, you know, I'm going to sell right before October 17th. I'm going to sell right after October 17th. I can't say that's a good or a bad strategy, but the old, you know, story, buy on rumor, sell on news. Well, the news is October 17th. So a lot of people I'm seeing have made a pretty good bundle on these so far are starting to take a little bit off the table before that date. Yeah, because who knows what the earnings are going to show, right? That's the, the million-dollar question. They could. Do, we don't know what the uh, the numbers are going to look like when they start coming in. No, on one hand, I'm hearing people saying these are the tech stocks of the 90s. This is a booming growth area. On the far other hand, I'm hearing and people say this is like oats or wheat or any other agricultural commodity. So, as I said, it remains to be seen. Of course, the flip side of this argument is many believe we're going to see more investment from big alcohol, from big tobacco, and maybe even from big pharma that could possibly drive these valuations even higher. Starbucks this past week, after opening 25,000 stores in 78 countries, finally cut the ribbon on its first Italian location. And it's quite grandiose. This is it. It's in Milan. It's the so-called reserve roastery, this bigger format of Starbucks that they're opening. It features a 30-foot bar carved from a single block of Tuscan marble. It's showy. They make the a coffee in front of you, pour over coffee. They also sell cocktails, pizza, bread, and gelato. This is aiming at the top end of the market. An espresso shop there costing more than two fifty Canadian. Not found on the menu. Frappuccino, certainly not. Of course, uh, Italy, a country where coffee culture is taken very seriously. Purists drink largely espresso while standing at a cafe counter. It'll be interesting to see if Starbucks is successful there. You got a pet? Oh, many do. And you know, it's tough when you get a new one and you have to leave the kitten or the puppy at home when you go to work. Well, many uh, workplaces cluing in on that now. They're offering fraternity leave. Yeah, like fraternity leave for parents, but they give you some time off when you get a new pet. Uh, Minneapolis Marketing Company recently making some tweaks to its employee benefits, allowing uh, workers to work from home for a week when they welcome a new animal to the household. As for why it decided to implement this policy, a company spokesperson said the perk was just another step in helping employees start their families, even if those families are made up of fur babies rather than human ones. Well, maybe you're looking to take a dip. The weather, of course, still very nice here. And, you know, you don't need a pool anymore to have a pool party. Now available in Canada is the Airbnb of pools. Yeah, it's called Swimply. It's an online marketplace where pool owners can rent out their pools by the hour. Again, called Swimply. Hourly rentals range from as low as 20 bucks an hour to about 200 on a weekend for a, a big pool. The New York-based owner of the startup says the same day avail availability of the pools makes it a spontaneous way to take a dip. Of course, you might be wondering about the liability. And uh, when you do uh, rent a pool, you sign a waiver or absolving the owner of any issues that may arise. Finally, Domino's with a promotion this past week that kind of didn't work. They had to roll it back. So Domino's in Russia said, we're going to give you free pizza for 100 years if you tattoo a picture of our logo on you and post it on social media. And many Russians did. Russian social media flooded with images of the Domino's logo tattooed on fans' arms and legs and elsewhere. Domino said, we got to put a stop to this. They stopped the promotion after just a few days, giving free pizza to only the first 350 people to get the ink. In the 680 Newsroom, Richard Southern, City News.